This is absolutely delicious. Honey notes to it, not overly sweet. Lovely spice, lovely orange. Saffron comes through. This is one hell of a spiced rum. I mean, when you smell it, the, the aroma, it's not as sweet honey, but there's, there's honey, honey forward. But that sort of, the orange notes. In recent times, I haven't had a spiced rum that's really kind of excited me. I've had some good spiced rums, but nothing that's gone, wow, that's really good. This has changed the game. This is really tasty. So what is it? Well, let me introduce Cane Vore. Uh, and yes, I'm a little bit overexcited because it is another Cornish rum. And it is, more importantly, a Cornish rum distilled from scratch with real life spices and fruits and stuff. Oh, this is so, so good. I've... I've come, I've changed up the way I do those reviews. Basically, what I'm gonna do with these spice drums, I wanna see whether this will make my top 10, and if not, will it make my sort of backup five? But how does it compare with mixes and stuff like that? That's what you've got to look forward to in a couple of minutes. But let me tell you all about this. So, Cane Four, and yes, you might be looking at that thinking, how is that Cane Four? Cane Four is actually Cornish. Uh, it's probably more Celtic, but let's call it Cornish for the time being. Cornish, and it means ocean. Uh, we've got a lot of sort of Cornish words and all that coming out in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but it, it means ocean. So that's what this spiced rum is there. Uh, Mounts Bay Distillery are down in Cornwall, and Mounts Bay essentially runs from, I think, I think officially, Lizard Point, sort of round south of Penzance. The, basically, St. Michael's Mount. If you can picture Cornwall in the UK, St. Michael's Mount, that whole bay round there is called Mounts Bay. Now, I've inherently kind of steered clear of scratch or a rum brands in the UK where they haven't inherently sold their base rum. So I've known about Mounts, Mounts Bay now for quite a few months, but I've just totally dismissed them because they do not have a white rum or an unaged rum. So I would naturally assume, stupid of me, I must admit, I would naturally assume that they uh, import rum or, or whatever. I know they distilled their own gin, but there was no kind of, you know, why would you not, if, you, if you're if you creating the white rum to spice up, why would you not sell it? I was wrong, wasn't I? I was absolutely wrong. And coming up on, it might be next week, but coming up, I'm gonna, they've sent me their pre-release white and aged rum. So I'm really looking, it's gonna be filmed in the same session as really looking forward to this. But as I say, distilled from scratch in Cornwall and spiced with real life proper stuff. So I'm gonna dive straight into the sweetness scale. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 20. As I always say, bamboos, on papas and all that. Um, 16s, 17s, 18s out of 20s. The sort of benchmark for rum plantation XO would be sort of like a 10 to a 12. Because of the spice in there, I think the spice is kind of pulling it back but it has got a little bit of sweetness in there. You potentially would go a 10 or 12. You potentially would go the same as Plantation XO. But because of that spice, because of that dry finish to it, it kind of detracts from the little bit of sweetness you've got there. This is a very well balanced spiced rum. So let me give you the, the quick rundown of what's involved in this. We've got honey at the end to sort of round it all off and to bring in the flavors, but a spice is used, Cornish saffron, tangerine, cacao husk, allspice cinnamon, coriander, pepper, and seaweed. You're not getting that in dropper bottles. You're really not getting that in dropper bottles. Uh, you might do actually, to be fair, but uh, seaweed, they, it's Dolce seaweed, so it's the red kind of seaweed that you see at the beach. Now, umami is spot on because in the mouth, it is sweet, it is salty. You know, it's dry, it's fruity. It, there is all these different directions and layers going on with this. I can't wait to get mixing this. Now, before I reveal whether this makes my top 10 spiced rums or not, we need to do the mixes. But just quickly before I do the mixes, I was so excited by this that I've just taken it into Mummy Barman to see what she thinks and her eyes just went, oh, like that. So you've got, you've got both our palettes there. For the regulars, the members that kind of know, you'll know what she likes and what she doesn't like. That's really good. So, mixes. You can see uh, there's a new addition here. Uh, I've had this now a couple of weeks. I actually really, really like it. Very different to the Beaver Apple. 
um, that I've kind of had there. I think I might actually prefer this. It's not as sweet. It's kind of crisp. So for you guys in the US, um, cider, cider, sparkling cider, that's what it is. But um, it's not as, even though the beaver apple wasn't that sweet in the grand scheme of things, this is like kind of crisp and really, really good. And evidently it works really well. So my favorite mixes here, this is really, really hard because the only one that I think really doesn't work is, and it might be just me, is the tonic. I'm not a huge fan of that. But the rest of them, I genuinely don't know. This, oh my God, this is just, you know, I, I love the rum and coke. I love the rum and ginger ale. Love the rum and ginger beer. I love the rum and Stratford soda spiced. I love it with the apple. The ting works, the tropical, the, you know, the hedge, they all work. I, I think if I was hard pushed, if you if my if you had a gun to my head, I think I'd probably go for Pepsi as my out and out favourite. But I, they're all so close, you know. If I'm scoring, just just ignore any other scores. If I'm scoring the Pepsi like a nine out of ten for flavour and drink, then you know the bulk of these are at least eights, if not eight point fives. It is that good, and it plays that well. The spices in it just really work. Um, and as always, I will drop this as a paid promotion. As always, if you want to try the Stratford sodas in the in the UK, they are not as sweet as these. They're not as gassy as these. They are flavour forwards. But if you're in the UK and you haven't tried them before, there's a link in the in the description below that will also populate a checkout. Um, gives you fifty percent off your first orders. Your first taster pack and part and party pack orders but the hedgerow really works as you might expect expect sort of blackberry and rose with those sort of honey notes and the spices really works the cinnamon forward and the ginger in the spiced really works the tropical works really well the citrus works really well oh, so does cane four make my top 10 well the answer is a categorical yes now i'm going to go back to front in this because the one i'm going to eliminate from my back up five so basically permanent stocks kind of if i've got extra cash these would be restocks but you know they're not in that league if you know what i mean the one i'm going to get rid of straight away and it's only been in there probably a week maybe two weeks uh, i've lost track now because i filmed so far ahead is the two lasses it is a honey run but it is on the very sweet side i kind of wanted the honey rum in there not a liqueur if you like because i have got lazy dogs honey liqueur i kind of want one um but it is it is just too sweet and i as i said in that video i do like to sip rums neat so that's gone now i've dug a massive hole for myself and i'm kind of wishing like in hindsight about six weeks ago that i didn't start this with the uh kube elixir 33 it's not a spiced rum, it is a rum liqueur. And for my own kind of thing, I've kind of, you know, admitted Lazy Dog's honey rum liqueur, because that's a liqueur. This is still punchy, 33% ABV, and I still like it. But I'm just trying to find room, I'm trying to find a hole for decent spiced rums. But that's not the one I'm gonna get rid of, because that for me is always gonna be a restock, always. You know, I love it so much. The one that is actually going is dropping down. I'm, I'm in an errand, but I think it's the Black Tears. I, 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 I'm looking at these now and we're getting really, really tough, really tough. And the scary thing is next week, we've got another Mounts Bay uh, rum coming up. Uh, again, I've not tasted it yet, but that's, you know, this is good. It's their base rum, obviously, there. this is that. So I'm putting it, in here, I'm putting it in place of black tears. Um, th this is where it gets hard because some of these probably would actually be restocks now. A top 10 is really hard, but I think Cane Vore has to sit in there. I could quite happily, yes, it's a little bit sweeter than some of these. Yes, I'll admit that, except for Lilicure. It is a little bit sweeter, but I would quite happily sip on that. That is absolutely delicious.